Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be setting up our health spreads for the next week in May, and I've got these sticker sheets ready to go, as well as these sticker books, which I pulled from, and then a couple more that I pulled just a couple stickers from, in case you need them. And they're all linked down below in the description. It's getting ready to start, and then I almost forgot, I also wanted to show you my stat stickers that I made from my Fomimo printer, which I will link that video up above in case you want to download those stat stickers as well and see how I made them. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right in and start laying in my food log stickers. I decided on this donut theme for this week because it is my birthday week and I pretty much only want one maybe two things for my birthday i really just want some delicious donuts and my free starbucks coffee <laughs> so um pretty low maintenance this year but i have been craving donuts for a while so i'm really looking forward to getting some donuts for my birthday so i pulled these stickers from the color story sticker book i saw those donuts in there I've done a donut spread before using the donuts from the food sticker book. So I didn't really have too many to choose from from there, but found a little collection of them in those two color story books. So right now I am prepping my stat stickers. I cut off the steps portion of those stat stickers because I wanted to include these little steps arrows that I had found in the fitness sticker book which are color coordinated just to add a little more of that color there at the bottom so I just trimmed off the word steps from all of those stat stickers and then I'll just use the arrows as my new tracking area for those which is actually kind of nice because that's really my focus lately is just trying to get out and walk and do more steps so having that highlighted it's the perfect timing for that So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish trimming these. I printed these on the clear label paper that is um, available through Fomemo. They just are working out really nice. Stat stickers are something that I went through quite regularly. So I had multiple books trying to make sure I always had stat stickers, but the ability to make my own has been really awesome. If you guys like to track your stats, it's a really good option for you guys if you have one of those little printers or a way to print your own stickers at home. And now I'm whiting out the boxes for the focus area and as that dries I'm going to go ahead and set up my rest day sticker. Had this really cute donut background and then I grabbed the let's stay home sticker from the trendsetter as well as a couple of little hearts, which you can barely see on there. It looks a lot better in person, but yeah, so that's why I decided to kind of make my little rest day sticker carrying home that donut theme. And I also put a donut on my actual birthday so that I, you know, just to kind of highlight that a little bit. And I'm gonna start laying in my workout boxes too. I, I did two spreads today and everything is just sticking really hard to the paper today. So I'm a little bit on a struggle bus with the stickers. I don't know if it's the type of stickers or if it is just certain humidity, but some days the stickers seem to come up just fine. And then some days they don't. And just depending on what stickers I'm using, I guess. So anyway, today was one of those days where everything was just sticking. And when I tried to make any adjustments, it just wasn't having it so a lot of things like that green box I would have adjusted and made it a little straighter but I just had to leave it because it was it was stuck down forever I also cut up some of the paper donut stickers that I had and I'm using that in the top up here lining them up with the boxes as a, a little added detail but I didn't want to use them in the focus section because most of those stickers I'm going to use are clear stickers. 
and I kind of didn't want to mix the paper with the clear so I'm using the paper up here and then I'll use the clear in the focus and now I am dropping in just some little arrows to kind of guide me into whatever I'm doing each day just again to use more of that color And I'm going to go ahead and set up my habit trackers too here on the side. These came out of the wellness sticker box that I showed earlier. And this is basically all that I pull from there. And I just wanted to adjust this guy a little bit, make it a little bit more centered between the two. I also saw this box sticker with the Celebrate Life, and so I thought that would be another way to kind of drive home that donut theme. And I had one smaller one that I put in there kind of in the background. So this quote was one I knew it existed. Um, it's the only one I could find though about donuts. So try to make it work. It's a pretty long quote and it's the only one I pulled from the food sticker book as well. Um, but that's where that quote is. Looking for it. And kind of a little hack there. Since I cut it up into one long line, I put it there on the sticker sheet and saw how to center it on those focus boxes so it would look right with the break. And so I'm overlapping the pages where the lines would go to you know, kind of imagine that the spine wasn't there and see how, how much space it was gonna take up. So if you do have a quote like that where you're cutting it up and you don't know how much space you're gonna have, that's a hack for you um, to kind of make an adjustment and see how much space you will need by using the sticker sheet. Okay, so I've got the main quote in there. So now it's time to start laying in donuts. Originally, I had checked if the words would show up over the donuts, but it didn't look right. So what I decided to do is just cut some of the donuts in half or sort of in half, not 100%, just so that I could lay them around the borders and kind of make them look like they're coming in towards the quote, but not overlapping it. And I wanted to have a couple of full-size donuts there, so I put those on the ends of the quote. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut these donuts up and then just kind of spread them around so that none of the same donuts are right next to each other, just kind of going back and forth. This one donut here that they have a picture of with the blueberries, that looks pretty interesting. I wish I knew of a donut shop that had blueberry donuts like that. I'd definitely try it. Do you guys have a favorite donut? If you do, comment down below and tell me what your favorite donut is. Mine is chocolate glazed. That's my all-time favorite donut. I like to keep it simple. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for this donut. <laughs> and I'm like, can't wait for these donuts. It really does bring happiness. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put this donut on the side and place a couple of donuts where I can. It's really starting to come together. Try not to make it too uniform and want to spread things out, but it did feel like there was kind of like a hole here. So I'm gonna try and make an adjustment. And of course it's stuck down and picked up the paper when I tried to move it. So we'll have to fake it here with a little pin fix. Okay friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. 
Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.